Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before, and I'm here with Gorilla Grodd from the DC Multiverse line. This is based on his appearance in Injustice 2, and I think it's based on the tournament shader skin, but I also think they've taken some liberties with it. Um, I, I think they've added some, some stuff to this, uh, uh, this design that wasn't in the, in the game, but I'm not a total, uh, total expert of the game. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I've said it before. I'm really bad at fighting games. So Injustice isn't quite my, my bag, but let's just look at the box here. It's got the Injustice logo. Um, and it also has the Injustice logo on the top there, which I don't know if I've seen that before. can't remember if I've noticed that. The photo on the back is just a picture of the toy itself, which is kind of uh, surprising. Uh, they they couldn't have they don't have any key art from this game of, of this character, but then again that might also be because they've taken the liberties with the design. Here's the brick seek numbers for you if you're hunting this guy down. I found this at Target and I found it in the entertainment section, um, like with next near the Blu-rays and the uh, the books and stuff like that where they where they keep like. Um, uh, Funko and NECA and like video game adjacent uh, toys uh, so and I only saw him there were, there were a few of him here they didn't have that new flash yet um, but so that's where I got him I'm just gonna get him right out start moving along so this is definitely a big guy and he's very he's very heavy um, but I, I'm starting to wonder if, if maybe those um, who are concerned about scale uh, might have something to complain about here. We'll, we'll find out soon because I don't think he's 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 wide and he's thick, but I don't know if he's real tall. So here he is, right out of the box. He smells real good. So um, I can already. So that because this is based on a game, I think these characters where they base him on the very detailed 3D models that they have for the game, they skew a little bit closer to what I would, uh, you know, s say um, is photorealistic instead of the more stylized approach. And I don't think McFarlane, I don't think it's their strongest suit. I think when they take their liberties and get their own artistic creativity involved, that's when they have a better time. Um, and when they try to uh, emulate like a, a very realistic style. I just don't think it quite um, looks quite as good. And, and you know, video games, modern video games, I always feel like, um, <clears throat> I always feel like um, they're trying to kind of overcompensate by, by making their character designs way too detailed and, and just like way too many textures on it. Um, and, and that's kind of how I feel here. Like, like the fur, it, it looks very good, but I also, I can't help but feel like if this, if they were, you know, taking some liberties and, and getting a little, you know, uh, creative, creative and, and like stylized with it, that it would be maybe a little cooler. He's got so many nooks and crannies here in his head that um, it's hard for the light to hit it, but let's go. Let me adjust the lighting a little bit. So, first of all, he basically, I mean, other than his face, he has almost no paint on him. I think he's got like a clear coat over everything. But this is gold plastic, and this is just this dark gray plastic. Uh, and it leaves, a, it, it's a little, it leaves me wanting a little bit. Like, when you look at this gold next to this gold, this looks this looks very cheap and this looks really nice and slick. This just looks like that kind of like cheap plastic where there's almost marbling happening inside and I think they've got a clear coat on top of it to make it a little extra shiny. But I mean just look at it up close. You can just tell that's that's unpainted plastic. The face looks a little you know, looks pretty nice. They've got um, the red of his gums and his teeth and his tongue, and they've got like a little bit of a wash on there too. And he's got red pupils, but, uh, but overall, this is just a really big unpainted guy. It's, a uh, it's not quite as bad, but it, it does remind me of this, like, this Marvel Legends Thanos, which has 
just very cheap looking unpainted plastic that's straight up like kind of like marbling and looks very uneven and cheap. This, uh, this looks like a little higher quality plastic, but uh, so let's get moving around with him. If, another another thing is like his um, pelvis piece here is rubber, and it's not doesn't have the same like clear coat as this, so you can tell where the the sheen just ends right there. It's kind of a nitpick. It's not terrible, but. That head turn is really satisfying with that big, great big uh, helmet on. Just gives him a lot of attitude. Nice shoulder clearance, the way they've got these, uh, his shoulder, shoulder pads engineered. So there's a lot of space, if you can see. It's hard to see because of the, there's so much depth in this uh, design that the light shadows created are kind of harsh. Uh, I mean, that works pretty good. Nice work on the shoulders and nice, nice little butterfly movement right there. Yeah, and actually I'm, when, when you sort of move his bicep and you can see that shoulder pad, shoulder pad, like clear to the, uh, the sculpt like that, it's very well engineered. It looks good and works really well. That's nice. Um, and then, yeah, so he's got a single elbows. Oh, and similarly, it's always kind of kind of satisfying to see when they've taken time to make sure this is engineered well and can clear. Not much movement though in that, that elbow. Even, even for a single elbow, he's got these straps of his gauntlets and his bicep sort of armor there. They just run right into each other and get in the way of each other. So he's got, He's got wrists that are kind of similar to how you would see on a, a Devastator or like the Bane build a fig. It's not a ball joint, it's just uh, tooled to, to run right up in there. Good looking hands, really nice. I mean, maybe wish there was a little bit more difference between the two hands just to have a little bit more expressiveness. But So here's what I'm really curious about. How's this torso work? So he's got the That works pretty well. He's got a decent amount of crunch, honestly. Just considering how bulky that that stomach is. And and the waist moves really well. It's pretty nice. Let's see if he goes all the way. I mean he does a full 360. He could probably do it up here too, maybe. Well, I guess at least I don't have to worry about the paint rubbing off when I give them a spin like that, since there is no paint on this thing. Oh, there we go. See? Nice rotation in the... on the hips. Which will help him to get into more ape-like poses. And that's actually one of the things i got to say about this guy that I, I do just love right off, off the bat. He's got a much different sort of silhouette compared to any other character from this line. So I just always like characters that kind of carve out their own space and fill out their new, fill out a new sort of unique look compared to the rest of the characters. 
Um, his single knees, they have a decent amount of range of motion there. So he could he could sit down at the at the at the table of angry monkey guys <clears throat> next to King Kong and Saigor and all those guys and have that brunch. Um, and and I, I love this too. This again, this so he got the single knee joint, but he's also got a twist to the knee. That's gonna go a long way when you want to give him some more sort of hunched down kind of ape-like poses. Um, really nice uh, ankles. Again, no, no, no ball joint. It's just tooled right there. He's got the toe articulation, which that's really nice. So he's, these feet and these legs are actually, these are pretty nice. Looks good. Looks good. Feels good to to mess around with. I really that that lack of gold paint is really, especially when when McFarland makes such a big deal about their gold repaints and and you know that they love working with that gold. The fact that this guy does, isn't painted just feels like a little bit of a afterthought. I'm gonna try to set him down here. Move this camera. Yeah, see, this is just kind of surprising to me because it feels like Devastator, we got more paint apps. Obviously, Devastator is still a bigger scale even. Um, he, he just barely edges them out, like on height, and and definitely edges them out on the just um, girth, the width. Uh, so it's surprising to me that we get a character like this that has, you know, the black wash and all the you know this attention in the paint department and then this is just kind of bare it's a little lame but then um all of you sticklers on on scale are gonna really complain about this because he's basically just the same height as a regular character from this line which uh it's a little disappointing, I, I gotta admit. I'm not even a big, like, scale person, but the fact that this guy just doesn't have too much on on any anybody else in the size department, that seems kind of confusing. Um, but that's, uh, that's Gorilla Grodd from Injustice 2. I, I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm not an Injustice fan, but... If you are like I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm happy for everybody that is an Injustice fan, and we're starting to see these um, designs show up because uh, I'm a big Arkham fan, and I want more uh, the Arkham characters. So I feel like if other uh, video game people are getting their their characters that they want, that that uh, makes it more likely that I'll get some of the ones that I want. So, uh, so if you're interested in this, it's pretty cool. It's fun. Um, he's definitely just got a unique sort of. Uh, profile and silhouette uh, that uh, that just makes him you know feel feel a bit different than than most of the rest of the releases from this this line. Uh, so he's definitely got um, that new and unique feeling, and he's got some nice details. It looks pretty good. I mean, if you if you went crazy with the paint, this thing would look really great but as it is it just feels a little little bare uh so uh so that's gorilla grod i'll uh i'll also i'll review that flash if i ever see him anywhere i'll, I'll pick him up and review him as well um and i will uh talk to you guys soon thanks for watching bye